Hey guys, welcome to Malcolm V8. Today we're sitting back in the office and you can see I have quite literally ripped the center dash piece out of my Cobra with the Raspberry Pi dash over there. I got the uh, laptop with the Tuna Studio and even the ECU laying out here. I'm gonna show you some cool updates that have happened here. Let's take a look. All right, so here we can see quite literally the center console out of the Cobra and there's a Raspberry Pi with uh, the Tuna Studio software on here displaying these gauges. And that is quite literally the full tuning software, the whole Tuna Studio suite package that's on the laptop is on here, but it's in full screen mode with just some gauges. And that's why it looks a little more simplistic. And of course we have an actual uh, Gen 1 MS3 ECU out here. Uh, it's a spare one I got laying around that we can use to power all this to kind of make it work. And to give power out here, we got a little power supply I built with a, uh, it's an old four wheeler battery and a charger and we're getting sidetracked, don't worry about that. It's a power supply. Okay, so let's, let's take note here. These gauges are online and connected to the MS3, and these are not, not connected. And this is the problem and the crux of this whole video and the issue that I, I kind of have a problem with. So let's see why that is. Well, we have a serial connection coming out of the MS3 computer, and it goes to a serial to USB cable, which is quite literally plugged into the Pi, and there's our gauges. Now, anytime I bring my laptop out to the car, I have to quite literally unplug this USB cable and plug it into the laptop, and then this will come online, and that goes offline. And, and that's kind of really annoying, because every time I bring the laptop out, which is a lot, because I like tinkering with this stuff, my gauges go dead, and I have a dead spot in the car there. Now, there was no way I could just keep switching cables back and forth. That was just terribly annoying. So I went ahead and removed the cable out of the Pi and unplugged it from the serial connection to the ECU, and I got this handy-dandy little Bluetooth to serial adapter. So I went ahead and plugged that in there, and that at least put my serial connection onto a Bluetooth wireless setup. Now the Pi has Bluetooth in it, and the laptop has Bluetooth in it, so that at least made no more wire switching, but you still have the limitation. Only one device can be connected in here at a time. So when I wanted to use the laptop, I still had to power down the Pi so that it would free up the Bluetooth connection and allow it, or the, and the serial connection to go to the laptop. So there was still no way to have both devices on at the same time until recently. So MS3 computer has a single serial cable connection coming out of it where it can have a two-way communication with a single device at a time. So we have a serial to USB cable that plugs into our Pi and brings on the gauges. So naturally, if I want the laptop on, I have to quite literally unplug that cable and plug it down here into the laptop. And now the laptop will get gauges and data logging and communication with the MS3 and the Pi will not. So, how do we get around this? Well, you know, normally you couldn't do it real easily on your own. But, the folks over at uh, Tuna Studio have released a new application for the Pi. And it's not the full tuning suite of Tuna Studio. You know, not the whole programming thing. It's just something they call TS-Dash, Tuna Studio Dash. And you load that software on here and it's literally just a dashboard of gauges. Uh, you, you can't program the car, you can't edit your fuel tables and so forth, but let's be serious. That screen is like this big. It's great for displaying gauges and information. Who's actually tuning on their Pi? That's, <laughs> I certainly don't. It's, it'd be, it would drive me insane trying to figure that out. So, we got this dash, and then they took it a step further. They added something onto it, an add-on feature called Echo Dash, meaning echo, echo, echo. <laughs> so what happens is, your Pi, Raspberry Pis, have Wi-Fi on them, so they have a Wi-Fi network that's broadcasting out, and they can echo out the dash data across the network. So your laptop can quite literally connect to the echo network, or the, the echo connection, and you have to have an updated version of Tuna Studio. Now, I might say all of this is beta, none of it is released and fully polished and ready for uh, public consumption, I guess you could say, but it's out there and you can buy it, and I did, because I, I love the concept, and so far, it's working great. So, Dash comes online. I have everything on here. I have an updated beta version of Tuna Studio. It connects through this Echo network, and both of them are online at the same time. In fact, you can buy multiple client licenses, and you can connect multiple screens, laptops, whatever you have, all at the same time through this Echo network, and have all of them displaying gauges, or even have multiple laptops all tuning at the same time. And that's very interesting because what happens is if one laptop opens up a fuel table, makes a change and hits enter, save, whatever you want to call it, 
that change is replicated through the Echo network. All the laptops, all the screens, and of course the actual MS3 computer all get that change at, at once at the same time. I don't never really thought about a use case of having multiple laptops and multiple people tuning at once, but it's possible. The main thing that excites me is my Pi gauges and the laptop can be working at the same time. And I just had to try this out and get it working. So let's go take a look. Okay, now we have the Pi running the Tuna Studio Dash app. And it looks identical because it's using the exact same project. You don't have to go and recreate all your gauges or custom displays that you had done. It literally imports them from Tuna Studio and puts them right there. So that's really nice. And I went ahead and got rid of this Bluetooth adapter and I put a hardwired cable in since it's going to plug into here and we're going to have a solid cabled connection which is going to be a little bit more responsive and you know more reliable in the car and since we don't have to move cables anymore that's not a big deal it's actually a nice solution so that's online right now it's connected directly through this cable to the ECU and it's online as you can see but it also has the echo dash network broadcasting out so let's see how that works now if we go over to our laptop I'm going to go ahead and select our project and it's going to open up and look at that. It's going, it's connecting online and boom, there it is. It's online and that's online at the same time. And they're both connected to the same ECU over there. This is super cool. So I can go through here and make changes. And let's say I went into like a fuel table here and I just picked some value and, you know, made some changes, do whatever. Um, save it. It saves over there, goes through the Echo Network, changes are here, and straight onto the ECU over there. Very cool. Something else that's kind of nice they integrated, say you only have your Pi in the car, and you're out driving, and it's data logging and creating some logs, and there's some event where you just want to review the logs when you get home. You open up your laptop, it connects to this Echo Network, Boom, and there it is. Now, normally you would go and download your logs, but instead of doing that, they actually added an option right up here. Um, so if we go to graphing and logging right there, you'll see there's actually an option here now, open TS dash log. And when you click that, it connects to the Pi straight through the Echo Network. It's connected right over to there. And if there were any logs, it would list them right here and you could highlight it and open up a log straight off of the Pi without even having to download them first. You know, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me because I have written scripts and all that stuff's automated for me. All the stuff just automatically connects through Wi-Fi up to my servers when the car comes home. But that's a pretty slick feature for people who want to use that. Now, I'd also spoken about dual laptops being able to connect at the same time. I really wanted to do this, so let's grab another laptop. All right, I threw another laptop on the mix, and all I had to do was go to my Echo Dash and add a an additional client license, which I got online, and you can buy bundles of them in three packs or however you wanna do that. So now look at this, we have a laptop online, a laptop online, the Pi Dash online. <laughs> all three are connected to this ECU and all three are in sync at the exact same time through this Echo network. Very cool, now I wanted to check it out. So let's go into, I'm just gonna pick something uh, like say the uh, VE table. Now let's just go up here and change, uh, I don't know, let's just change a little block over here, set it to say uh, 50. Okay, now let's go over to the other laptop and let's go look at that fuel table. And look at that, we have 50, exactly the same. That's really cool, I wonder if this does this in real time. I'm gonna highlight another block over here. Let's see, uh, and just make that 40. Now, before I hit enter on there, Let's go over to the second laptop over there. I'm going to hit enter on the other laptop and let's see what happens. Look at that. It changed in real time. <laughs> I changed it here and it updated here in real time. You literally have both laptops connecting through here to the ECU, making tuning changes simultaneously. I can quite literally have one guy over here editing fuel, another guy over here editing spark and something else. I'm not sure that's something that I need right now, but man, that is really cool. I don't know of any other ECU system that has this kind of capability. But for me, it's having a dash and Wi-Fi all available at the same time and my laptop just connecting at any point without turning my gauges off, that gets me really happy. All right, so this is my final design of what goes in the car. We have the MS3 permanently cabled into the Pi with that USB serial cable and the laptop just connects through Wi-Fi and the Echo Network anytime it wants to connect. 
all super cool and awesome, but I had to take it up just an additional notch and do something extra to make it even more flexible and nicer. Let me explain. The Pi only has a Wi-Fi built in. I went ahead and added a second Wi-Fi, so my Pi has two Wi-Fi's on it. And there's a reason for that. One of them is a client and one is a hotspot listening for connections, kind of like your home Wi-Fi. And here's how it works. This here is my home Wi-Fi. The Pi will connect up to it and be on the network and have internet access. The laptop can also connect up to my home Wi-Fi, be on the internet, have you know access to the, the Echo network and all of this is working. But what happens when you leave the house and or you're out in a, in a garage workshop, whatever, you, you're away from the Wi-Fi. This connection here is going to get lost. This connection is going to get lost and they're separated. But if I have my second Wi-Fi be a hotspot, the laptop can connect up and join that hotspot right there and be on the network and everything's working, be on the Echo network. And you might think, well, why do you need two Wi-Fi's for that? Why not just take the one Wi-Fi that was there and turn it into a hotspot and always work that way? Well, the issue is because you lose internet connectivity and connectivity to the rest of your network, which may not bother you, but for me it does because I use the internet and a lot of other stuff going on. So here's how this works. The laptop can connect to that hotspot and be joined all the time. As the vehicle comes home and gets close to the home Wi-Fi, this Pi's second Wi-Fi will actually go up here and connect to Wi-Fi and get internet access and access to the rest of my home network. The laptop will actually route through there and automatically get internet and access to everything else. And if the car were to leave the house and that was to break, obviously that would go away. But the whole time, the laptop and the Pi never miss a beat. They, they have a solid connection of their own that is always there, regardless of whether I'm at home or near internet or anything. So that's why I added two Wi-Fi's to make this kind of more robust and just less interference. You know, if you're on a home network and you backed out of the driveway and they're dropped and you lose the Echo network and your laptop falls out, then you're trying to convert into a hotspot and then, yeah, it's a big mess. No, no, no. Two Wi-Fi's solves all those problems, works beautifully. So hope you guys learned something and hopefully some of you guys with Pi's, you know, kind of like this and might want to uh, consider switching over to this. There are a few minor bugs, um, nothing major. I've found a few small things that I, as I've been tinkering with it, I've been reporting to, to the developer. He's super responsive. He's looking at things, they're creating updates and it is still beta software. So they're gonna release a, an official you know, 1.0 version one or something like that at some point. But even as it is, I'm putting it in the car. It's super usable and great. So see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed.